Hey folks, it's John P. I'm here at IFA 2014. I'm in the RHA booth and I've got three words that I never thought would be associated with headphones. Injection molded steel. Welcome to Geek Beat. Okay, how awesome is that? We've got awesome uh, light bulbs. We've got awesome headphones. We've all we got awesome Ian here with RHA. Thanks for joining me today. No, it's great. It's, thanks for coming by. So I got a press release from you guys that was claiming something outrageous that you were making headphones out of injection molded stainless steel. So I had to come over here and check this out. So. First of all, is that actually true? Yeah, yeah, we've just launched the T10i. It's the first ergonomically shaped stainless steel uh, metal injection molded headphone uh, that's available on the market. So it's Okay, before we even get into talking about the ear earphone uh, headphones, yeah, you can see them, you can see them. Before we even do, I have to know, that is amazing. First of all, it looks sexy. But I have to know, how do you even make that? I mean, what is the process like? Uh, it's actually a, a fairly well-established process. It's, uh, it's been used for uh, components for other machines for a while, but it's the first time we've kind of used it in our headphones. Um, it's essentially the stainless steel is made into a very fine powder combined with plastic, which is then injection molded in the tr traditional way. Uh, following that, it's made about 40% larger. So the plastic is removed either by heat treating or by dissolving it out. And then it's heat treated for up to 10 hours at 85% of its melting point to uh, coalesce the steel particles and remove any air that's been left. And that's yeah. where it shrinks down yeah. a little bit? Essentially, all the air is kind of forced out of it and it shrinks it down to the size that we need it. And obviously, it increases the durability as well because you get rid of all that air in it. So it's a That is amazing. <laughs> Why did you go through so much trouble to make headphones? Uh, well, it, it's just, a, it's really cool. Stainless steel is a great uh, material to work with. We used it on our MA750i, but we wanted to make a more ergonomic shape that was very comfortable. Um, also, with injection molding metal, you can make uh, a lot lower tolerances in terms of the walls of the driver chamber. You can make a lot thinner shapes, and it's a lot easier to kind of make it work with the drivers we have. So it's... Uh, and so you could, like, fit in a bigger driver and or have more interior volume for the driver movement. Yeah, essentially, it's about airflow and making sure that the driver can get enough air through it to produce the sound that we want wanted it to, so you've got a really nice sound chamber in there that kind of uh, encourages the sound to, to be the way we want it to. <laughs> okay, well first of all, that sounds awesome, but that's not the only thing. I'm noticing as I feel this in my hand, there's like a there's like a springy kind of, what is this? This is a loop that goes around your ear? Yeah, this is uh, this is our patented uh, ear hook. It's an over ear hook. And it's, uh, it's, it's a first, we're the first people to do it in the world in that it's a memory wire covered with a zero elastic spring. So it's actually like a, a coiled steel spring, which is then uh, treated with a, a plastic outer. So it's both very flexible and very comfortable and uh, it holds its shape very well. So. That's awesome. Okay, now I noticed then, because that's not enough, right? <laughs> uh, I noticed then it goes into this very, I mean, incredibly flexible, rubberized yeah. kind of, uh, it's amazing. What's the deal with the cable here? Uh, the cable's actually taking its inspiration from kind of high-end hi-fi cables. We want to make a very thick, very durable cable. Uh, it has a lot of oxygen-free copper cores in it, so it's a very good at relaying the sound and uh, it's not going to corrode at all. Same with the jack you see there. So it's inspired by kind of high-end, big, full-size hi-fi, but we wanted to bring that to portable audio. So that's, uh, that's what I kept thinking behind the cable and the jack there. Okay, I see here, uh, uh, there's a few other things. First of all, what is this? It looks like uh, some kind of little screws or something. Yeah, it's cool. It's a, I really like it. Uh, basically, what we do with it is uh, it has a custom tuning filter system. So uh, all of our products use a flat frequency response, which means it's not colored sound. We don't artificially increase the bass or anything. But with these, you can, in fact, color the sound to your taste. So if you're listening to any kind of acoustic or jazz, you can change the filter on the headphones and put on a treble enhanced filter. If you're listening to uh, something... Rap? rap or dubstep, you can change it and increase the bass response. So you can actually change the way the headphones sound to suit whatever music you want to listen to. So whenever I'm listening to, I'm on a boat, <laughs> I can put my bass filter on there. That is super, super sweet. I've never seen that before. Does does anybody do that? You just screw them in. I mean, I've never seen this ever before. Yeah, there's, there's a couple of people done it, but it's the way we've done it is, is, is unique. It's, it's a very cool system. Uh, we took a lot of research to make sure that we, we increased the bass and the treble the right amount. So uh, it, it's it's not a brand new technology, but in terms of how we've implemented it, it's, it's, it's a very, very good implementation. Sweet. Okay, now this looks like the this, this is the retail packaging, but we should state, you can't buy this yet, right? No, it's actually uh, going to be launched in mid-October. So it's uh, been launched, but it, the on-sale date is not for 
a couple of months. Okay. Uh, well, a month. All right. So so we've looked at all those parts, but you got to have the little the little plastic kind of little earbud things to stick over, right? Yep. You've got like 400 of them in there. What is the deal with that? Uh, there's 10 pairs. We did a lot of market research to find out that people uh, obviously getting a good fit is very important for yeah. the, the sound. So and also we found that people uh, sometimes they lose their ear tips, uh, and also so we give a lot of sizes so people get a good fit, and you've got spares as well in case you you happen to lose one at some point. So uh, yeah, it's just giving people options and making sure they get a good fit so they get the best sound quality. That is fantastic. I mean, I can see why a pair of these things would cost $500. Uh, <laughs> but it doesn't. No, <laughs> no they, uh, they're going to be on sale from next month uh, for uh, $199.95 uh, US dollars. So, yeah, $200. That is insane. Where are people going to be able to get them? Uh, they're going to be available from uh, Apple stores worldwide. Uh, so they'll be available on Apple online, anywhere with an online Apple store, or anywhere that a physical Apple store, you can go in and get them, or they're going to be available from Amazon and other retailers. We recommend people go to our website, rha.co.uk, and check out our full list of retailers there. Okay. Do you guys have any other headphones, or is this the first one? No, uh, we've been around for about three years, and this is our latest headphone. Our, our, we would do all in-ear headphones. Uh, we have a range of about eight products, including uh, those for use with Apple devices and those that are without a remote and microphone. Okay. So uh, they start at $50, and they go up to $199, which is the okay. new product. Uh, guys, I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I'm totally freaked out. But now I understand why these would make their way into all the Apple stores everywhere. That's amazing. That's a fantastic price point. I can't wait to try them. Luckily, I can run faster than these guys, so I'll see you later. Have a good one. I'm going to make an exception for Google Glass because I honestly believe it is the single worst product I've ever experienced. Joining us, I wanted to tell you about XF205 from Canon. It's a really great camera. Geekbeat.tv slash name this salsa. Yeah, we'll give you a link for it. Kickstarter project.